What's going on, everybody? I'm sorry. I'm a little late on this. I recorded one, apparently, but it didn't have the microphone on, so you couldn't hear me. But let's get into it. The playlist, you know, I was supposed to drop this, like, the first of every month, but I forgot. My life's just been crazy. But Peaches and Cupcake, All Started Great, a.k.a. ADG. Found out about this guy because I'm a huge Battle Rap fan. Shout out to Shotgun Shoe. Hey, And, um... They got one of my favorite mixtapes of the decade. We can talk about that another time. But this song right here is like a strip club song. But it's also like, a, I don't know, it's like a, a fun song. That's a, basically all I can say. Like a fun song. It's a song you dance to or whatever. Has some girls twerk to. You can dance. It's a fun song to listen to. Shout out to ADG coming through with the strip club bangers. And then we got Issues by Don Tolliver. He's going to take over the world. I don't care what anybody says. If he doesn't, he's going to take over the world in my eyes. After hearing... um. That, that verse he had on the Travis Scott album on Can't Say, I mean, or Don't Say, man, or either way, what the song, whatever the song is called, that's featured year in my opinion. A couple other people got a little argument, but he's up there, man. Like you got Kamayo on Vince, on Vince's album, um, who else had a crazy feature? It's been some crazy features, but that feature, oh my goodness. And this song right here is crazy, bro. You got issues, I got issues. I want to talk to one man, I want to let you play like a tissue. Crazy, bro. This song is amazing, man. Shout out to uh, Don Toller. And then we're going to sauce it up. I unironically like I Love Friday. Those are the people that made that diss to Mia Khalifa. Um, yeah, I like I, I like them. Not gonna lie, man. Zeno Carr has talent in me. I feel like he could sing <clears throat> if he had a vocal coach. Like, he already has the vocal ability, but he needs somebody to hone those skills in because he's fire, man. With that, sauce it up with the juice. Hey, yeah, yeah. Sauce it, sauce it up with the juice. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Billy G with the moves. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's crazy, man. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I don't know why, but I like them, man. I like his voice. I think it's weird and it's different. He needs to go to a vocal coach and he'd be crazy. Um, if I ever fall in love, of course, this is a classic. If you're ever in an intimate session with a woman, you gotta put on If I Ever Fall in Love, man. This song is amazing. The best a cappella song to ever be recorded in the history of a cappella history. <laughs> Every step, every way. Now, I wasn't, I got knew who Majid Jordan was, but I really never listened to them outside of the interlude they did on Views, which I thought was one of the best songs on the album, ironically. And I listened to them, I listened to their set, rather, at Flogna, and I was like, these dudes are really good. And this song right here was one of the songs they performed and stood out. I'm mad to start listening to Majid Jordan because this song is kind of fire. I'm not going to lie. It's kind of hard, buddy. <laughs> you know, so shout out to Majid Jordan for that. Um, drug dealers anonymous. Oh my goodness, Pusha T is different, bro. <laughs> Pusha T is real deal different, man. He's crazy, bro. Shout out to Pusha T, man. He may be top five all the time, but that's also another de- also another debate for another video. And it's Jay Z versus crazy. I don't care. I love that. Um, the white van bar. That white van bar was crazy to me. Like I know people was like, oh, it's a pop culture reference. I thought that was one of the hardest uh, Daniel bars I ever heard. That song. I mean, that bar was crazy. Um, McGee, you. Oh man, I heard this on Frank Ocean Little Blinded uh, series. I think it was the last episode, and it was just it blew me away. It's like a, a smooth R and B track. But me saying that it has a Frank Ocean cosign should be enough for you to just go and listen to that. The song is really, really good. It's really smooth. Um, for more, interviewed Braxton Cook a couple years ago. I reviewed his album a couple days ago or a couple weeks ago, something like that. Very good album. Very jazzy. He's a jazz artist, but he also sings. Go listen to it. This is one of them songs where he's singing on it, and it's really, really good. And he's also featured on this next song, which, man, this is one of my favorite songs. This is one of my favorite albums of the year, I'm not going to lie. Like, I might just review this album. I might not say too much about this song, because I might want to review it, because this album is crazy, man. But I don't see nobody talking about it. Like, he was in his bag in this whole album. Like, oh, man, this, this album is crazy, bro. Shout out to Mac Ayers, man. It's like an R&B album. It's really crazy. 
of Fincy Six. <laughs> she said like some papaya. Yeah, this song is crazy, bro. La da 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 la da sativa. Song is fire. Shout out to Sumino and Drizzy for Drizzy for this. They both went crazy. Well, also one of my favorite albums of the year. A lot of my favorite albums of the year coming up right now because after this song, Fincy Six, which is crazy, you got Buddy Sincere from Fetty, which is also one of my favorite albums of the year. Like albums is going crazy these past couple months of the year. They've been dropping crazy so shout out to buddy and sincere this song is crazy the way they ended this song or what it this way to end the album off with this song is ridiculous this whole album is just crazy it's not a bad song no misses all makes a gravitational feature in knife crazy song um shot to frack ktt user and battle rapper and musician he does a little bit of everything he's really good but this knife chick on here i really want y'all to hear the song and listen to her verse she sounds like she could be something special in the future like she sounds like she could carve her like laying out as a female rapper and go berserk like goodness gracious she got one of those voices and flows where it's weird but it intrigues you and it catches your ear really good song um Colleen Taylor Walls now I do not know how this song or album ended up in my library but I just want to say that this is possibly my favorite song on this list and this song is crazy bro like this song is legitimately crazy it is one of my favorite things that came out and it came out on the tail end of December of last year but I do not care I'm gonna put this in my this year list of favorite albums this album and song is crazy crazy or maybe it's the ep because i think it's only six songs but you know what that doesn't matter right now if you don't listen to anything listen to walls really 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 good song like he's singing on here crazy the whole like the way he starts the album off is crazy but this song right here man shout out to Kaleem taylor oodles and noodles babies man also another song i don't want to talk too much about because I, I'm going to review this album. I have to. But all I got to say is just, oh, man. Oh, man. That's all I got to say, man. That This song is powerful, man. What he's, man, I ain't even going to quote it, man. Y'all know what he said on here, man. Crazy song. And then we got Good Night. Now, Benny, he makes like, I ain't washed my neck in three months type music. Very, very dirty rapper. Very, very crazy album. Very, 